Hello, everyone. My name is Christopher Mahadio from the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. I'm a PhD student, and I'd like to talk to you today about moduli spaces. I want to begin by proposing three seemingly unrelated problems. Can we try to study the gravitational interaction between the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon? What can we learn by mathematically classifying RNA viruses? Can we predict properties of quantum materials before they're made and tested? I cannot give you answers to these solutions, but I can talk about a mathematical tool that we can use to study them. I want to begin motivating it by asking an important question. What's the best kind of cake? I might need to clarify what I mean. The best type, like birthday or cheese? The best flavor, like chocolate or vanilla? The best temperature, like chilled or room temperature? The answer to best depends on how I'm grouping cakes. To continue motivating this, suppose I give you a jigsaw puzzle to solve. You'll probably solve it by grouping pieces together, solving the edges, then gathering interior pieces with similar patterns. Looking at collections of similar pieces instead of individual pieces leads to insights that are not apparent and help solve the puzzle faster. This is the spirit of a moduli space in mathematics. We're looking at groups of similar solutions called equivalence classes rather than individual solutions. This leads to new insights and allows us to apply a different set of mathematical techniques to a problem. Like with the cakes, however, there's not always a single moduli space. It depends on how we want to group solutions. Are moduli spaces merely strains abstract concepts? No, we interact with them every day. Classic example is the hours in a day. Have we been continuously counting hours since the beginning of the universe? Mm, seems like we repeatedly use the numbers 1 to 12 in two segments for setting each day. The moduli space of hours in this case are exactly the numbers 1 to 12. Returning to these problems I proposed at the beginning, for the three-body problem, I can, for example, consider the three celestial bodies lying in the same plane. What I can study is the moduli space of planar configurations, which happens to be a sphere. Points on the sphere correspond to equivalence classes of configurations, and studying the sphere will tell us about the orbits. For the RNA viruses, I can associate a curve to the shape of the RNA, and I can study the moduli space of these curves. Work is being done to understand what properties viruses in these equivalence classes share. One of my research goals is to produce a moduli space for studying quantum materials. Some questions I need to ask are, what properties am I interested in, and how can I understand them mathematically? I would like to build and mathematically study a moduli space where I have grouped together materials sharing these properties in order to better understand quantum materials. Thank you very much.